As 2024 draws to a close, AI technology is entering a new phase of evolution. On November 26, 2024, Anthropic released the Model Context Protocol, a new standard for connecting AI assistance with systems containing data such as content repositories, business tools, and development environments as open source. Today's AI models, such as chatbots, are often very smart, but they have one big problem. They are isolated from external data. For example, if you want AI to help you process files in Google Drive, conversations in Slack, or code in GitHub, it can't do it because it can't access that data. The current solution is to develop a connector, code, or program specifically for each data source, such as Google Drive or GitHub, but this is cumbersome, inflexible, and difficult to scale. To address this issue, I introduced the model context protocol as a master key, eliminating the need to write dedicated code for AI every time. In this video, I will explain MCP in an easy to understand way, what it features, how it works, and how to use the model context protocol with Puppeteer to create a powerful scraper agent. If you want to add more features, I have documented my journey, learning how to add Slack, GitHub, and more. Please feel free to check Patreon where you will find all you want will just cost $5. Model Context Protocol is a mechanism for managing what information an AI model remembers and how to use it. The existence of a protocol that enables this allows AI to understand context and generate more human-like responses correctly. For example, you might have a chat AI that remembers a conversation from a few hours ago or changes its responses to reflect new information that appears along the way. This is where MCP comes in. It enables AI to perform long-term context management beyond short-term memory. The core functionality of the model context protocol revolves around solving the problem of efficient connection between AI assistants and data systems. The following are the main features of the model context protocol. Standardization of data access MCP provides a universal open protocol that allows developers to connect to various data sources, such as Google Drive, Slack, and GitHub in a unified way without developing complex interface code for each data source separately. In the past problem, each data source needs to develop a specific connector, which is time consuming and inflexible to address. This we simplify the connection of all data sources with a standardized protocol, like a universal power plug. The two-way secure connection. MCP enables bi-directional secure communication between AI applications and data sources, allowing data to flow securely in both directions, ensuring privacy, data integrity, and closed loop interaction. Contextual awareness. MCP enhances AI assistants' ability to extract contextual information from data sources, enabling them to provide more accurate and relevant outputs. For instance, in code development, MCP helps AI understand a project's structure and history, generating practical solutions. While in business management, it allows AI to tailor analysis and recommendations based on document context, modularity, and scalability. MCP's flexible architecture comprises the MCP server, through which data sources expose content, and the MCP client, which connects AI applications to the server. Existing MCP servers support systems like Google Drive, Slack, and GitHub, and developers can extend MCP to support additional data sources. The working principle of MCP is very simple. It is based on the client and server model. The client is where the service needs to be requested, such as an AI assistant, and the server is where the service is provided, such as a database, file storage, analysis tools. The client and the server talk to each other through the MCP protocol. The client sends a request and the server responds. A simple process is this. The server, such as WhatsApp, tells the client what resources and tools it has, for example, historical message statistics and historical message search for a specific user through notification messages. After receiving this notification message, the client, AI assistant, can register these resources and tools in their context. When the client, AI assistant, receives a request from the user, for example, we ask the assistant to check the information about YY that I sent to XX last month in WhatsApp. The assistant believes that this task can be completed through the interface provided by WhatsApp 
and it can call this tool to implement this capability. In this way, AI assistants can easily call these different services without having to worry about how they are implemented. Each service is an independent module and they only need to be exposed to AI assistants through the MCP protocol and AI assistants can access them in a unified way. To use model context protocol, you need an MCP server, an MCP client, and a Claude desktop. If you haven't downloaded Claude desktop yet, download it here. Also to connect the MCP server to Claude, you need to add the MCP server information to the JSON file of the desktop app. You can open the JSON file from the desktop app. I'm going to show you something cool in this video. I'll take you to the model context protocol repository where you can see its features. This repository has MCP servers and works with tools like Puppeteer. Puppeteer is exciting because it helps automate browser tasks. You can also use other tools like Playwright if they work with MCP. With this, you can do things like go to websites, take screenshots, click buttons, fill out forms and run JavaScript. Right now, this part of the tool does all these basic tasks, but I think they may add even more features. Let's open the Claude desktop and edit the configuration. We can use Puppeteer for this. First, I'll add a command and include the arguments model context protocol slash server Puppeteer. Then we can choose any website we want to work with, save the file and start using it. That's it. Once you save the file, go to Claude's desktop and don't forget to enable develop mode and then restart Claude's desktop app. If the MCP server is connected properly, you will see a mark like the one in the image with two extensions and you will see the file system and Puppeteer, it has got a secure file system. Let's input the prompt. Navigate to the website to CNN website and wait for 10 seconds, then click on world. In the world page, click on Asia. Once the page loaded, click on China. On the China page, click on the first article. Let's test this and see what happens. It's interesting because you can see that it opens the browser and keeps asking for permission since it's performing sensitive actions on the screen. Each time I allow it, the chat processes a new action. It takes a screenshot, analyzes the context, and uses the screenshot to fix issues. However, I'm noticing some errors which seem to happen frequently. If we adjust the prompt with more details, may could improve. But overall, this shows that the MCP is already working with the context we're providing and operates similarly to how agents perform tasks. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. MCP is an innovative protocol that takes the use of AI to the next level. And what makes it particularly attractive is that it is available as open source software. This creates a foundation for developers and businesses to freely use technology and create new solutions. The future that MCP will realize is an era in which AI is not just a tool, but a long-term partner that plays an active role in all aspects of work and life. Let's make the most of this technology and realize the next generation of innovation together.